Mom. He's gonna do it. Good evening from Chicago. We are um, walking to the baseball right now. We're like a five minute walk from Wrigley Field. This is where our hotel is. Got myself a jersey, Baez jersey. And we got our Chicago popcorn. And I got my Chicago cap. And we are ready for some baseball. We're at the baseball. Have a look at our seats. Look how close we are here. The first baseman, number 44, Anthony Rizzo. Yeah, Rizzo. And now, fans, it's time for Evan to say the words we all love to hear. Play ball. Oh my God, look how close Rizzo is. <laughs> scorecard and I've been keeping track of the score as the game's going. It's so much fun. I bought a beer from the beer guy. I think you have to tip them. I gave him a dollar. Yeah. So I don't know if I have to tip him or not, but I gave him a dollar.
you go? No, I'm good. Thanks, though. Here we go. Our post baseball pizza. So we're really hungry. This is from Pequod's. Whoa. This is big. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is meant to be a medium. I would call that a large a pizza. Large. Yeah. Have a look at that. Um. May notice I have a different beard. I don't like it, it was a terrible beard cut, I think, because he absolutely butchered it, and now it's really short, and not as good, not as good as you saw, but oh well, sporting a new look. Second day here in Chicago, we're at the Portillo's Hot Dogs, and we're eating some Chicago hot dogs. So this is a Chicago style hot dog, pretty messy example of it. So what's so special about this hot dog is that it's a beef hot dog. Um, they'll beef because they, I think they're traditionally Jewish and um, they don't eat pork, obviously. So they made beef hot dogs. Um, it also has a big pickle, these two um, chilies in it, they're called sports peppers, I believe is what they're called. Tomato, some sort of like, they call it gherkin relish, um, mustard, raw onion, and celery salt in a poppy seed bun. And, and you can't use tomato sauce. Yeah, you're not meant to use tomato sauce, it's forbidden. Ketchup, sorry. We shouldn't call it ketchup, so most people understand. Ketchup, tomato sauce, ketchup. And we also got a vanilla malt shake, that's a small. This is a small, mm. it's quite a large. And we got, this stuff's delicious. It's requiring me to take many lactases in my life. Help. <laughs> Cheese fries. Have a look at this gooey, gooey goodness. Mm. It's gonna be hard to eat. They are quite messy. Oh. This is it. It's the bean in yeah, Cloud Gate. And Sally has an interesting story, she can tell you about it. Yeah, so this is designed by Anish Kapoor, who I think is I think he's British. And anyways, a few years back he had this exhibition at the MCA in Sydney and um, there was a competition there to take like the most creative selfie and I won. And the first competition I won. Good job. And this is us under the bean. Wave. Hello. No, no, it's trippy, right? Hey, there we are again. Alright, final day here in Chicago. Um, we actually leave tonight at about 8 o'clock to head to San Francisco, but uh, first there's a day game of baseball, so I thought we'd um, go to another game, and this time we're in the bleacher seats, and it is, it is hot out here, but it is awesome. But look at this view for the bleacher seats. I like it. I think it's the best view we've ever got. Yeah. Yeah. 
You're really close to like the ground level. Yeah, this is awesome. And, and trimming. I got a hat. It's a new hat. Wrigley Field. Bleacher seats are awesome because before the game they're just like walking around and playing catch basically. Let's go, Travis. He's so close. <laughs> So we didn't last long in the bleachers. It was so hot. It was really hot out there. And we just walked up to the east The view's still pretty good from up here. We're in the shade at least. It was really hot out there. Look at the bleachers. Absolutely no shade. Yeah, so that's where we were sitting over there. Plus the people around us are really mm -hmm. hot. They're quite annoying. It's a lot more calmer up here. If you're wondering why the vlog just like changed really quickly, it's because we actually lost the camera. <laughs> mm -hmm. We left it in an Uber, like idiots. We've come six months of traveling with this camera and we haven't left, lost it once. And we left it in an Uber and the Uber driver drove off. So it was a really big ordeal to get it back. Mm -hmm. If you ever lose something in an Uber, it's like a huge pain to get because the process that they have just is not friendly at all. Like. Yeah, I had to go get an American SIM card because I thought I could get away with not having one, but I had to get it because I had to contact the guy with a with a number, so I needed an American number, um, and that cost what should have been $30 ended up becoming 60 90 90 with fees. I had to go through Verizon because it was the only place that was open. I don't know, it was a $30 plan thingy, and he said yeah. there was fees, and I thought, oh, maybe a $10 fee. It was like $60 of fees, and we had to pay the guy 50 bucks to get it back. But we got it back. That was like his ransom for it. Yeah. And Uber charges a fifteen dollar fee as well. But But whatever, we got it back. We got it back because we, we learned our lesson. We learned our lesson, we didn't back it up. It wasn't so much the camera I was worried about, it was the fact that we had all of Iceland, all of Norway on it, and we hadn't backed it up because we'd been so busy. So we're really stressed out. But we got it back and everything's fine and we're in San Francisco now.